Hey guys, it's Sylvia from Galore Flavors. Today we're going to be making my favorite dish. It's called Rabama. It's a pumpkin stuffed with dried fruits, nuts, rice. It's going to be spectacular. So here we go. Okay guys, so the first step we're going to do is we're going to cook our rice. We're not going to cook it thoroughly. We're just going to have it set on the fire until it start, until we clean out our pumpkin thoroughly. And then we're going to take uh, the next step after that. So what we're going to do is you're going to just, uh, you know, place your rice inside your pot. Do not salt it first. Just go ahead and fill up your pot with water just until it covers. Don't need to be perfect. That's good enough. Go ahead and mix it. And we're gonna go ahead and place this on the fire until we finish cleaning up the inside of our pumpkin. Okay, next step, we're gonna go ahead and cut the top of our pumpkin and clean it out. So uh, you can make it, uh, just I've seen so many people make it just straight, but I wanted to do it a little different. Um, make it festy and make it zigzag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make my imprints. I'm making them small and I'm making them big. Totally up to you how you want it. I think it's gonna look cute that way. I make it short and I make it long. Here's the ending of my other one. Just gonna follow where it is and finish it off. So now I'm gonna go through it and make my deeper cuts. Yeah, that was our last one. Okay, so what you do, you lift it. Okay, now we removed all of the inner uh, part of the pumpkin and now we're gonna rinse it off. You don't have to, I've already, oh, by the way, you have to wash your pumpkin before we start. I already did that in advance. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off all this stuff, the pumpkin around the edges, wherever I touched. And then we're gonna show you what we're gonna do with these seeds next. And um, our, our rice is also finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wash this all off. Place our rice in our bowl and the rice has already halfway cooked. Okay, so next we're gonna put our ingredients in here. So we're gonna go ahead and put uh, four tablespoons of butter. We're gonna put one whole apple. We're gonna put some raisins. All the ingredients are gonna be in front of the, in the beginning of the video. Some pitted prunes. I like to cut these halfway on some of them. So uh, some of the, you know, the, for the flavor. <laughs> Thank you, cameraman. 
for the flavor to come out. This is a really, really healthy recipe, so. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave some holes, some cut. Okay, and then here comes the apricots. Now, I like to cut them in little pieces just to make them really pretty. And again, for the flavor. Now I put my um, oven on at 375. This usually cooks for about an hour and a half, an hour and an hour and a half. So depending on how um, soft or hard your pumpkin is, it all depends on how long it's gonna cook. So as you cook, you're gonna poke your knife through your pumpkin and if it goes smoothly in, then, then you're ready. Okay, so I left some of the whole pieces of the apricots and I chopped some. Okay, and then um, this is usually not in the recipe. I like it like this. I like dried cranberries. So usually I top them off, but I'm gonna put some inside of it just to make it a little festy. One teaspoon. You're gonna taste this and see if you need more. And then Add a pinch of salt. Again, all depends on how much salt. This is just to give a little flavor. And then some honey. Again, we're gonna taste as we go. I'm gonna be putting it, put, putting two to three tablespoons, and then I'm gonna see how it tastes. Like I said, this is not the original recipe. I wanted to spice it up a little bit. Usually they put like three to six tablespoons of honey in this. It's a sweet dish. I'm gonna try the brown sugar. Let's see how it goes. Now you're gonna add the rest of that one tablespoon. So I had five tablespoons in here. I used four inside the rice and I'm gonna use the one inside the pumpkin. Okay, so then I'm gonna add about one more tablespoon of honey. I'm gonna eyeball it, don't mind me. So I put like about a, a tablespoon and a half or so. Again, this is a sweet dish, so don't be afraid and wipe it upwards. And then I'm gonna sprinkle, actually I'm gonna put some inside the inner layer as well. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon in here. We're gonna go ahead and add our nuts to the mixture. Okay, so you can add walnuts or you can add almonds, it, up to you. I'm gonna add the almonds at the end. I'm gonna add some of the walnuts inside. But now we're gonna go ahead and scoop your rice inside your pumpkin. And then what you do is you're gonna go ahead and cover your pumpkin the same way you had cut it. And I had one groove really big and I think it's right here. Let's see if I got it on the dot. No, didn't figure that out. Let's try this one. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's see, which one is it? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, we found it. Yay. 
place that over your greased pan and we're gonna cook this pumpkin for about an hour and a half, depending on our pumpkin. And, and after our pumpkin is done, we will show you this gorgeous, outrageous looking pumpkin after it's done. Okay, I hope you enjoyed our recipe. Come back soon, we'll have way more recipes to come. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Love you all, see you later, bye. Thank you for watching Galora Flavors. If you'd like, click down below to subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes yet to come. You could also check us out on Instagram and Facebook. I'll see you guys next time.